What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Today's episode is gonna be kind of short and talky. There's uh, no cool B-roll or anything like that today. We're gonna be focused on this guy, the Galaxy S9 and the, well, the S9 Plus and the Note 9 specifically. So let's just get right into it. What's going on? Um, a lot of you guys have brought to my attention that there has been an update with the Note 9 and the S9 Plus and the S9, and it's not worldwide yet, it hasn't rolled out yet, but some people have gotten the Android Pie update. And while everything else seems to be real cool and mostly positive reviews of you know tech channels and all that, the one thing that people haven't been talking about that uh, people like you guys, photographers, have noticed, there is no longer a pro mode uh, video recording option. So there is still a pro mode and it still looks the same and all of that, but there is no longer the video recording option in pro mode, which means you can no longer adjust things like your shutter speed, your ISO, your white balance, your focus, all of that stuff that you could do in video pro mode before. So I started digging around. Uh, you know, I mentioned this, a few of you guys mentioned it in the last Q&A and you brought it up. So I started digging around. I have actually found very little uh, internet information about this and and it's kind of frustrating i've only found one article that seems to be legit and the guy knows what he's talking about and i found one uh thread in reddit and uh some people talking about it there but uh there's i haven't seen any other youtube videos on it there's like largely no information and that's really kind of a shame because i think this is a huge deal especially for people like you guys who are using your phones for video, for serious video. So I have not updated yet. I have not got the option to update to Pi on my S9 Plus. And uh, with this going on, I'm not going to. So first off, right off the bat, what can you do if you haven't got the update yet? Don't update yet if you plan on using Pro Mode for video on your, on your phone. If you have updated, there is a way to roll it back, but I'm not going to go over that because it is fairly technical and it involves uh, doing stuff on your computer and typing in code and command prompt and downloading stuff. And it's not too difficult, but it is difficult if you've never done anything like that before. So I'm not encouraging it if you don't know anything about Android or Windows or codes or you know, all of that kind of rooting type stuff. So if you don't know anything about that, I would strongly not recommend uh, trying to roll back to Oreo. And I'm not gonna really go over that because again, that's not really what this channel is about. This channel is all about photo and video stuff. So instead, uh, a number of you guys, a lot of people have been asking me, well, you guys have been asking this for a while anyways, but a lot of people have been asking me since then, uh, in the past few weeks since this update happened, what can we do now and what third-party programs do I recommend? And I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you straight right now. I have downloaded three other third-party apps that have in some way potential to have a pro mode like video scenario where you control your video stuff. And that includes Filmic Pro. I did finally pay the $15 to buy the Filmic Pro. Uh, I bought the Moment app, which does allow video on Android now. Um, that was only a couple bucks. And I have, I have had for a long time uh, the Cinema 5V or Cinema FV5, I think it is but I've never used it. I, I used it like three or four years ago and it's just been outdated. So anyways, I'm gonna go over those three apps in separate videos and I'm gonna go over them in detail. I've been messing around with the phone uh, and those three apps trying to get my way around them for you guys and figure out what's gonna work and what's gonna be possible moving forward with until this update gets fixed. So on that note, uh, I, like I said, I will get into that stuff, but I need more time to really understand that stuff and really get good with it and have some good examples for you guys and screen recording and you know all that stuff. So it's not just me talking for those. I really want to give you guys the best information I can to help you out the most. Uh, so I'm going to need more time to do that. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, uh, I've got some other stuff that's ready to be released over then too as I'm gonna be really busy and traveling for the next couple weeks, but I will try to integrate those videos and let you guys know as soon as possible what I think is a good option for you concerning third party. Samsung will probably address this, I'm really hoping. There has not been the official worldwide rollout for Pi 
on these devices, only a few countries, and uh, the people who have taken it upon themselves to flash the UIs you know, through rooted phones and early updates and all that stuff. Um, but so far, the masses haven't gotten it yet, and there's been no more information about when that last UI is supposed to roll out, when that last update is coming. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you other than uh, don't update if you haven't updated yet and you want to use your phone for pro video. All right, well, that's enough for me talking and rambling on. Uh, I got a lot more editing to do that I need to get back to and packing to prepare for and all that crappy stuff. But uh, if, if you guys have any personal uh, experience with this so far, if any of you guys have updated, uh, comment below and let me know what's going on and... You should still be able to change like the settings to like 4K and stuff, but it's just in a different place. So if you just go to the 16 by 9 and select the aspect ratio, select 16 by 9, there should be another drop down that will allow you to still change it to 4K, uh, but it's still going to be 30p and still no rest of the pro mode. But if you guys have any uh, experience with that or you know somebody or you found some uh, legit articles or information online or videos or whatever leave those in the comments for me below because I definitely want to check that stuff out I'm trying to get as much information on this as possible so I can keep you guys as informed as possible but hopefully this won't last too long and definitely my hope is this won't happen for the S10 because I can almost 100% guarantee you like 99.7621% guarantee you guys that I will be getting the S10. I'm not sure exactly when. I might not have it the first day, but I will have it relatively soon uh, when it comes out. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't affect that because uh, the S10 is supposed to, I believe, come out with Pi. So hopefully that will be addressed as well. But again, we'll find out here in a few weeks and hopefully this video will be outdated and uh, we can all move past this. But once again, comments, questions, thoughts, anything like that concerning this stuff, leave those in the comments below. So if you're new to the channel, this is not too regular, just me talking head in front of you guys. Uh, I do do a lot of stuff, tutorials, uh, vlogs, reviews, all that, uh, a lot of good stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got new videos out every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.